Hi guys, it's Charlie. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I am coming at you with a book review for one of my favourite breeds of this year. Honestly, I cannot speak highly enough about it. And that is The Wrong Train by Jeremy Dequidit. Dequit. I'm not sure how you say that. Apologies if I've if I've completely butchered that. You guys know what I'm like with names. Um, I was lucky enough to be sent this copy from David Fickling Books. Um, in exchange for an honest review, so let's get on with it. This book is a young adult horror, and it is about a young boy who is rushing to catch the last train, and he sees this um, little two-carriage diesel, and he um, thinks it's the right train because it's the only one there is, but as you can see by the title, it is the wrong train that he ends up getting on, and he finds himself in what isn't actually um, like a train platform as in where the train like picks up passengers from it is where the workers go if there's like a problem on the track that's where they go to fix it and he is sat there on this bench trying to figure out how he's going to get home from here and he is joined by an old man and this old man's little dog and this old man proceeds to tell him stories creepy super creepy stories i think there's about eight different stories in this book i'm going to say seven or eight and he tells him that he must choose his favorite and it's only when he chooses his favorite that the next train will come along for him but as it turns out these stories might be more than just stories and that is all i'm going to say synopsis wise because i don't feel like you need to know any more otherwise it would spoil the story so, um, as I said at the beginning, I absolutely loved this book. I've been waiting for a horror all year that would actually um, creep me out. You guys know I love horror and I read a lot of horror books. I watch a lot of horror films. And for that very reason, because I've seen so many, it becomes quite hard to actually get the scares from them. Um, so even though I was super, super excited about this book, I was kind of like, I wasn't expecting it to deliver any real scares but honestly it really really did I felt like as the stories went on they just got creepier and creepier and I would say they're quite sort of psychologically disturbing they're the sort of stories that once you put the book down they're gonna stick with you and I found myself which I think is a sign of a good horror book as I was reading like listening out for sounds and thinking that I'd heard things um, and as I say I think that is the sign of a really good horror book when it can make you feel like that as you're reading it that sense of kind of unease um, my only criticism that I would have with this book is that it wasn't long enough I, I could have just kept like listening to this old man's stories I just thought they were wonderful um, and I also, even the bits in between where it's just the boy and the man on this platform, I thought was super, super creepy. Um, I, I really would have liked to have learned more about this old man though, and kind of where he came from. But I suppose that is part of the eeriness of this story, because you don't know anything about him. He's just this strange old guy that seemingly turned up out of nowhere. And something else as well, when he does turn up, he has this bag and inside it he's got this bunch of flowers. But this bunch of flowers is all dead. And I just, I don't know, I think I would like to find out more, but the mysteriousness of it all I think did add to the story. I just, generally I thought it was fantastic and I think um, if you are a fan of horror then this is a book that you are going to need in your collection. It was, I gave it 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. And I will definitely, definitely be picking up all of Jeremy's future work because I think he could be a new favourite horror writer. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you pick this book up. If you've already picked it up and read it because it is out now, uh, do let me know down below what you thought of it. Please don't give any spoilers or anything like that because it's not fair, obviously, to people that haven't read it. Um, and yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!